and they're behind the doors and they're aiming all these machine guns at me and they're wearing black helmets with visors you can't see just black everything's black but bulletproof vests everything and then that's where my, where my nightmare started I said, what label? I told the FBI agents, I don't need a label. It's under 6.2 pounds. They said, oh, you need a label. I said, what label? I haven't even seen a label. I don't even know about a label. I asked him, what is the right way to pack it? And the FBI agent said, I don't know. All they needed to do was knock on my door and say, hey, we think you need this label, and they could have given me a stack of labels or, or two labels or whatever, or they could have told me, get your labels somewhere, and I would have been happy to do it, but no, they didn't do that. I got a call from my public defender in Alaska, and he said, oh, we heard that you've been indicted um, for a garbage permit. And I said, garbage permit? What, what is that? What garbage? And he said, oh, the EPA, they said that you had garbage working on your invention. And uh, there's, a, there's a, a law called RICRA. I said, what's RICRA? I've never heard of RICRA. They took everything, they, uh, there was nothing left. In my trial, they gave me all their bills to destroy everything. It was something like $421,050, and something like that. And everything was brand new, and it only cost 100000 to buy it. And I thought, Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, I, I can never get past that. Brand new resources. They destroyed, they didn't even do RICRA. I hope in my heart that the EPA acted, I mean, I don't think there have been, they're, they're, they're wrong, but I think they didn't, I, I would hope they didn't understand what they were doing because RICRA is so complicated. And I don't even think the EPA people understand RICRA.